Yep. Um, isn't the problem sometimes deciding what is really dangerous, deadly? I mean, we've got flooding going on in Pakistan, had it in Sydney, had it in Yellowstone, all supposedly, according to the experts, due to climate change. Um, there's been droughts at the same time in Italy and someplace else. I don't see it in my notes at the moment. Yeah. Uh, European Central Bank is making climate crisis a key priority. If you go to academics and ask them, they'll all say it's because of the fossil fuels. This is dangerous to people. We, we have demonstrable evidence that um, climate change is, is killing people. So, um, yeah. The, 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 I, I'm very scared of, of letting the government decide, you know, wh where and when um, we should use fossil fuels. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the government shouldn't be in that in that decision making process. Um, it should have nothing to do with fossil fuels at all. I mean, all their land should be sold, not leased. They should sell it tomorrow, all of it. Um, I mean, the best way to pay down the national debt is basically to sell all the government land. I don't think that'll cover it, but it'll get us, it'll get us much closer. I remember, man, this is a long time ago, but just to give you a sense of a different America, in 1982, maybe under Reagan, there was a cover story. It was either Times or Newsweek. I was remember I was at my grandparents' home and they they were subscribing to Times and News or Newsweek. This is in Israel in the early 80s. Reagan was president, and the cover story was. How much of America is Ronald Reagan going to sell to raise revenue for the, for the government to pay off the debt? He never did it, but there was literally, there were pictures there, lighthouses in Oregon and coastal property and the plains. And, you know, 75% of all the land west of the Mississippi, 75% is owned by some federal uh, or state or local government. Uh, so, you know, all of that should be sold with the mineral rights, with everything. Um, government getting involved in these things can only cause disaster, whether it's because of climate change or they're because they want to milk the royalties they get out of the, the fossil. Israel is a good example of that. They discovered natural gas in Israel, off the coast of Israel in the Mediterranean years ago. I can't remember exactly when, but probably about 10 years ago, a Texas company did it. And at the time, the, the Israeli government had a contract with them. We get, I don't know, 5% of whatever you find. Because really, the Israeli government said they're never going to find anything with the land of milk and honey, not oil and natural gas. That's, that's the Saudis. That's these other, that, that, that was given to our cousins, not to us. The Bible is very clear on that. So they agreed to a low rate. And then they hit the jackpot. I mean, a massive find of natural gas off the coast of Israel, in the Mediterranean, enough natural gas for Israel for at least 100 years. They, could, they, they are now signing contracts to export natural gas to Europe. But the problem was, at that point, the government, Israeli government said, whoa, wait a minute. No, we gave you too good of a deal. We, we can't do that. That's not acceptable. And they spent the next five years negotiating instead of developing the natural gas. It lost five years of development. And, and we, we might be able to supply a lot of the, they might be able to supply a lot of the natural gas Europe needs from, from the Russia thing. Uh, but because they reneged on the contract, that's government. Government can renege on a contract because it is the arbiter of contracts, right? So you can say, whoops, no, nope, no more. Um, so it's, it's, yes, government should have nothing to do with energy, not just fossil fuel. Had nothing to do with energy, nothing to do with the economy, nothing to do with contracts, nothing to do with trade. It, it, there should be no tariffs. That's it. it. You know, no sanctions unless you're embargoing. The only thing a country can, a government can do is say, this country is an enemy. Trading with an enemy state is treason. We are embargoing this country. That's it. That's, that's the one thing government can do with regard to, the, to, to trade. So, yeah, I mean, so much would go away. And a lot of those experts um, uh, uh, have the position that they do because it's a position they're expected to have by the government who provides them with the research grants. And they wouldn't get the research grants if they didn't have that position. Um, so it's, it's, it's completely and utterly corrupt and yeah, needs to be done away with, absolutely. Agreed. Separation of state from economics. Point two in my revised constitution, Bill of Rights or whatever. Yeah. Thanks, Daniel.
Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.